Christian Kids Church. Two weeks ago, we learned from Chloe that we are to forgive those who have wronged us, maybe bullied us, say negative things about us that hurt us, or maybe like Joseph's brothers who rejected him, mistreated him, and sold him off. Nevertheless, we are to forgive others as God has forgiven us, so that our hearts are always clean. Today, we would like to go one step further beyond the people who have wronged us to those whom we feel or think are undeserving or not worthy of our love. We call them the unlovables. Children, sit back, fasten your seatbelts, for we are going on an adventure to the islands of birds of paradise to discover how to love the unlovables. on my special journey. I am going to go to the large island in Eastern Indonesia. Can you guess it, guys? Where will I go? Hmm. Yes, Papua! Ah, oh yeah! I'm a journalist from JGM and I and my friend Alfred we got the special opportunity to have an exclusive interview with a writer of the bestseller book about missionary in Papua. Mama me! Yeah! Hmm. Do you even know what this missionary is? Come join me on this journey and I'm sure you know about it. Before we go, we have some rules as journalists. Make sure you guys follow them. Number one. We have to wear the proper clothes. If we do not use the proper clothes, Mama May will think that we disrespect her. So, now go get your proper clothes. Number two, we won't be allowed to eat and drink during the interview. That won't be decent, so please put away food and drink. Okay? Number three, we have to focus to win the special interview. So let's make sure there won't be any distraction from our gadget or anything. And let's put that away too. Number four, don't forget to bring our secret weapon in this journey, the Bible. Alright, everything is ready. Yes, of course! Okay, let's go! Ah, before that, let's pray first! Oh, okay, let's pray. Okay. Lord Jesus, thank you for your love and grace in our life that we are still healthy. Now, we want to start our service, but please be with us to meet this service so that we can understand what you want to say to us and we do the right things. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's go. One zero seven five eight. Our contact seven Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to JG Airlines. On our journey to Papua, please enjoy your time with our own plane entertainment.
love you, Lord Jesus. She sent me many pieces of paper and had the writing 
Romans 5 verse 8. Now, I'm curious, will this piece of paper mean something? Hmm. Ah, maybe I can find a clue in the Bible. Come on, let's take a look. But God demonstrates his own love toward us. In that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 verse 8. I don't really know what this verse means. Maybe I will read it one more time. But God demonstrates His own love toward us. In that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 verse 8 Oh, well, now let us get to work with those pieces of paper. Hmm, first what, yeah? But God demonstrates or his own love toward us. Hmm. Ah, but God demonstrates and then after that his own love toward us. Yeah! Okay, next. Now, in that while we were still sinners or Christ died for us. What? Ah, yeah, it's in that while we were still sinners, and then after that, Christ died for us. Yeah! And that's our precious clue. Romans 5 verse 8. And now, let us read one more time. But God demonstrates His own love toward us. In that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 verse 8. This sentence before I didn't understand. Now I finally understand. God not only wants us to love our family or friends, but also our enemies. He gave the example when Jesus dies on the cross, even when we are sinners, which which made us God enemies. But God still wants to save us, and if we think about it more. Oh, I guess we also have to love those people we don't even know. Do you think that makes sense? I guess it is. Marshal 610, you pass up to us. Permanent 610. This is she. Come in. Friends, give me five minutes and I'll be right with you. What, Anna? Anna? I'm Anna. I'm Anna. Well, you guys are from a media network for children. What a blessed ministry. Welcome to Papua. How do you know? We are from JG. The Holy Spirit told me, have a sip, let us have some local cakes and tea. Mama May, your last book, Loving Piano Bubbles, has been on the bestseller list for the longest time and sold over 5 million copies. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's because it's all about Him, Jesus. You must be well loved by the tribe here that they are calling you Mother, Mama. Friends, I have been here for 15 years and I have dedicated my life to helping and serving the communities. What has kept me going strongly all these years? I feel God's heart for them. And when I serve them, I see Jesus, because Jesus is whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did it for me. Wow, amazing. Mama May, your book, Loving the Animals, who are the I pray that your eyes be open. The unlovables are all around you. They are everywhere, my dear friends. As I wrote in my book, the unlovables are those people who have wronged us, hurt us, made us feel very sad, or treated us badly. Ah, yes. In JG and last week, we have talked about that. Definitely not easy to forgive 
those who have wronged us. But like Joseph, we've got everything is possible. Basically, the unlovables are people who we think or feel are undeserving or not worthy of our love. They may be the people who go against what the Bible says or the law. For example, people who worship other gods, the LGBTQ, those who take drugs, get drunk, criminals, prisoners, etc. People whom we think are not as good as we are, not as smart, not as good looking, not as well off, they may be poor, not as successful, and so on. People who seem weaker than us, they, they may be the blind, the sickly, or the special needs, or the less privileged. People who are of different religions, color, races, and nationalities. Like the tribes of Papua Mama Me? Yes, but now I love them and I devote my life to sharing with them the greatest and the best news ever. That Jesus loves them. Tell us your story, Mama. I was a very successful banker in my younger days. Very ambitious, tough and independent. I have no patience for those who were weaker, less successful and not as smart as me. I look down on people who have different skin color and beliefs. I find them unlovable. Until one day, while visiting the gold mine here, I stumbled on the local news that a white woman has been assaulted and left to die. She was a missionary's wife. I thought to myself, that was a terrible thing that had happened to them. And they would say goodbye to Indonesia for good. But two years later, when I returned for a business trip, I saw the missionary with his family on the local television helping some tribes with the floods that had hit their villages. I was blown away. What? I couldn't understand. I came to learn. Not only was the wife assaulted, but the minister had more than once almost died of malaria. And they are still here today. I couldn't get it. I went to him and I found my answer that turned my life around. And here I am. And what was it that you find out that was so life-changing? His name is Jim Yost. Friends, I was always judging others that they were not as good as me, that they were unlovables. I simply shut my eyes on them. I didn't pay them any attention. I wouldn't give them any encouragement or help. I didn't want to be near them until it struck me that I was also an unlovable. Jim Yost showed me in Romans 5 verse 8 which says, But God shows his love to us in that while we were still sinners or unlovables, Christ died for us. Jim Yost and his family is such a great example of loving the unlovables. Jim Yost lost his father early in his teens. He fell into wrong influence and got addicted to drugs and ended up in the prison. He definitely was an unlovable in man's eyes, but God loves him and he was very precious to God. Children, like a hundred thousand rupiah note, whether it is found in the trash or in an expensive wallet, it is just as valuable. It doesn't lose its value. So are the unlovables in God's eyes. Jim Yost went into a Bible college and when he graduated, he and his wife prayed to be sent and in their words to the hardest reached group and to places where nobody wants to go. And that was Papua, Indonesia, which has over 250 tribes and languages. And that was 40 years ago. There were many tribal wars right before their eyes. And for the first three years, 
Not one came to receive the Lord Jesus. They faced rejection of their faith, ongoing threat and danger to their lives and that of their children. They were constantly misunderstood, but they remained faithful because of their deep love for the unlovables. To a people of different belief, race, and color, the Yosts served for 18 years, and 80% of the Sawi tribe received Jesus as their Savior. They plant churches, develop leaders, and translated the New Testament into the Sawi language. Jim Yost then moved to Santani, the city area, because God asked him to serve the lost generation. Who are the youths? The youths are lost to drugs, alcohol, diseases such as AIDS, HIV. They are the unlovables. Jim Yost started a church which he fondly refers to as the Problem People Christian Church for the unlovables. The church is filled with the drug addicts, drug dealers, drunkards, gang members, prostitutes, aid patients, prisoners, and so on. These are broken people, but God loves them dearly. To the people who were uneducated and unskilled and have no basic medical help, what does Jimios do? He built schools train the people in farming, and set up polyclinics to attend to their basic medical needs. When they pray over the sick and the hurt, miracles happen. Instead of looking down at the unlovables, Jim Yost and his family make things happen. This is loving the unlovables. Indeed, Jim Yost, through his actions, shows love to the unlovables. He came to serve, to be a friend, and to help the lost. His churches without walls and peace reconciliation movement spread from Papua to Aceh and to many parts of Indonesia. Today, he has over 1,500 churches in Papua. Which king would leave his glorious throne, wore a crown that bleeds and nails that pierce for the unlovables? Surely in his eyes, we, the unlovables, are so precious and so loved by him that it was worth dying for. I realized before I accepted Jesus into my heart, I was no better than others because we are all sinners or unlovables. Oh boy, to think that I was better than other people. <laughs> Mama May, we have come a long way. Can you give us some tips for us to share with our children back in Jakarta? Yes, my friends. I give you three keys on how to love the unlovables. One. Read God's word and pray. 2. See others through Jesus' lenses. God has made every person uniquely beautiful, talented, and with great potential. See people with Jesus' eyes. 3. Let the Holy Spirit in you flows through you with His love and compassion. It is when you are able to love the unlovables that others will see the Jesus in you. Don't look at them as undeserving or not worthy, but as Jesus' precious creation. They are created in His very own image. Loving your neighbor is also loving the unlovables. Here, I give you a gift from Papua. Be His light by loving the unlovables. Excuse me, I got to go. Someone needs help. Yulia, can you please help our friends from Jakarta? Friends, Yulia is like my own daughter. She has served with me for 10 years. She has just gotten back from a party with the villagers. Please, go to the kitchen. I think you can find her there. Okay, thank you, Mama May. Hello, Mama Yulia. 
How are you? We need your help to complete our reports. Hello! Vicky, our friend! I offered help you talk to Mama May a while ago. Pink Welcome is... Welcome to Papua! Pink is like by loving the unlovable. Wow, that is powerful! Wow! How do you do it? Just remember Romans 5 verse 8. But God shows His love to us in that while we were still sinners. We are unlovable. Christ died for us. You and I were once unlovable too. And only by His grace are we saved. No, we are God's children. In Romans page book, she encourages us to love others and to stay close to God and also to see others like Jesus sees and allow His love to go through you. It's not a hard thing to do. You can do it only by the strength of the Holy Spirit. Mama Mary is a great woman. That's right. Yeah. My friend, my yeah. Only by the guidance and the strength of the Holy Spirit. She was able and brave to go through the jungle. Awesome. To go here and she has to face in the wild horse, the poisonous snakes, and sometimes, you know, after the drinking, mm -hmm. she had to face the people who didn't like her. Oh, yeah, you know, friend. To love the unlovables, we don't have to go far like Mama May. We can start from doing small things such as first, help those in need. Just find out what their needs are and help them. For example, I'm going to give bread and water to Ricky and Alfred for their trip in Papua. Or you can give your unused handphone or laptop to children in the village for online learning. Second, serve them. If you see a student in your school falls down, just come to him or her and carry him or her to the school clinics. And you can also stay with them for a while. The third, be a friend to them. Don't value others based on their skin colors or intelligence or even religions. The fourth, pray for them. Because we know by praying for them, God will help them to see Him. Wow, I cannot imagine to be like Mama Me. Mama, I'm still scared. No, no, no. Mama Yulia, can you pray for us that we can have the unlovable too? Yeah. You? Lord Jesus, thank you for all what you have done for us, especially for showing your unconditional love to us. We cannot imagine our life in any other way without you. Today, we are reminded that as recipients of your love, we need to also pass that love to others, not only to our families and friends whom we love dearly, but also to the people who are not lovable. We want to love and pray for people who act like enemies to us, who bullied or hated us, or even mistreated our families and friends. O oh Lord, please open up our eyes so that we can see those around us that are in need of our compassion. You sacrificed your Son Jesus on the cross for us, when we even didn't deserve it. Make us to have that kind of heart to the people who are unlovable, to be compassionate like you, to listen to them and to hear their needs. They need to experience your unconditional love through us. We believe, Lord, by the strength of the Holy Spirit and by staying in your love and grace forever, we can be your instruments to give love and grace to others too. Use us, Lord, wherever we are, as your vessels of compassion to a world in need. Now we want to close our service today. Please bless and keep us all safe and sound throughout the week. Give us the time to meet again for the service next week. Please, Lord, heal them who are sick by the name of Jesus. Lead our nations to follow your truth and your help be given from heaven above for our country to pass through this pandemic victoriously. In the name of Jesus, we pray. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Kids, if you have a prayer request, please call or send your messages to this number. We will surely support you with our prayers. God will give us the best answers. See you next week. Bye. Alright children, we trust you have learned much about loving the unlovables. Now go and practice it. Be the light and be blessed. How about we have our quiz? Make sure you answer all these questions correctly. Number one, what is our SMV today? Blank 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 demonstrated blank 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 for us in this. While we were still blank blank blank, Christ died for us. Romans blank verse 8. Is it A, devil, his anger, friends, Romans 7, or B, angel, his kindness, neighbors, Romans 6, or C, God, his love, sinners, Romans 5, or D, all is wrong. Number 2. Who is Mama May in the lesson? A. A farmer B. A missionary C. A nurse D. All is correct Number 3. Who do you think are the unlovables? A. People who go against God B. Beggars Crippled persons? C. People who are not the same type like you. D. All is correct. Number 4. Were you the unlovables before you know Christ? A. Yes or B. No. Number 5. You are still kids. Do you think you can love the unlovables? A. Of course I cannot. B. Maybe I can. Or C. Yes, I surely can. Number 6. How can we love the unlovables? A. With our own strength, we can do so. B. By learning about love in the school. C. By the help of Holy Spirit, stay close with God, see others like Jesus sees, or D. By asking our parents to show us. And last number 7, what can we do to show love to the unlovables? A. Help, serve, pray, be friends to them. B. Just give them the money or see, ask my parents to give them attention. <laughs>